son of a... You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Yet. Oh! Ah! No! No, what is no, this no, no, dark sorcery? Brute! Back, foul demon! Uh... I am Whoa! Brute! Hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity! Guys, it's me! It's Peter Lord! I, uh, Starkwill! Uh, I mean. Peter! Uh, I thought you were... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Trust me, dude. I think I know if I wasn't me, <laughs> right? I'm kind of an expert. I suppose you are correct. Okay, great. Everybody calm now, huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just- Everything comes at a cost. Just don't know what it is yet. Do you think I'll get superpowers? Heat vision? Invisibility? Ooh, maybe I'll be able to pass through walls. If that's the case, then we're all doomed. You don't want to take this seriously, then fine. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, 
You just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Easy, Quill. That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. I am. Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> I think we lost her. This holla lady's relentless. But why she want this eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Holla's hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her and then bringing her back to life, and then killing her again, and then bringing her back to life, and then killing her again, and then bringing her back to life, and we then- We get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Then we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hala will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. on our trail. Let me do the talking. Quill? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. <sighs> now this is why you never loan stuff to people. Haven't seen you since you left me in the ravages. I hear you're a real hero now. Been helping out them Nova Corp boys. You think I'm letting you in now? You've lost the other half of your mind. <sighs> Never thought you'd turn into a spineless, role-following space cop yourself. Hey, you practically raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens to me. The least you can do is let me in. The least I can do is nothing. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home? Oh! I thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Hey, hey! No plants on the roof. I am Groot. These guys are my family, Yondu. Great, okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now, nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food! Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. 
rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Wanna hear me talk? Okay. Rocket, <laughs> we are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. his face! What the hell? <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. Oh, oh, before you get too attached, you should know the Kree are after it. They're willing to kill for it, too. Oh, I was just having a bit of fun. Because I'd rather have the Kree after your hide than mine. Let me see that thing. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. I know, Mom. I'll do better. I know you will. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Wait! This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. That looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That 
writing. It wasn't there before. What? What does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Something was off about that memory. That wasn't how the night ended. Can't help you. I wasn't there the first time. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. I don't keep us in suspense. What does it say? You can read that filthy language? No, but I think my sister can. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. Sounds like a happy family reunion. You two can talk and, uh... uh sharpen your knives. I, I don't know, I've never had a sister. Nope, sounds about right. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot? Somebody get this tree away from me. <sighs> Enough <sighs> with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Well, if anything happened to you guys, I'd use it on you. The ultimate life insurance. Of course you would, because we're important to you. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to half Moon, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. We gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor, I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. If this person means that much to you, we'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. Let's get going.
That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star-Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half-World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading to a remote Novacore outpost. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. I made a promise to Rocket. They're just gonna have to wait. Forget your promise! We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half-World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes I do. We're going to Half-World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Peter, but Nebula... Good luck translating the forge without my sister. Heads up, everyone. We're going to Half World. Later, Quill. Don't be a stranger. And take care of the Milano. Take care of yourself, Yondu. I always do. Bye, Gamond. Hala has found us. This is what we call great timing. What is this place? <laughs> Home. I haven't been back here since... Thanks for trusting me, Rocket. I'm glad you brought me here. This isn't what we're here for. Come on. <laughs> Rocket, let me... let me help you. Don't touch her! Rocket? Hey! Subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial vertebrae or neural implants. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Everything rests on you. 
my little friend. Rocket. You okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. Oh, great. Just wonderful. Nothing like getting random bits of metal shoved under your skin. If I'd known you liked it so much, I'd have let you take my turn. So, did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. It's gonna work. I won't let you down, Lila. I know. Catch! Nice. You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. Okay. Moment of truth. Go ahead and hook it up to the underside. Ah! Ugh, stupid piece of junk. You know your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? It's cute. Oh yeah? You're cute. I meant that as an insult. I'm so offended. Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? All I need is a display, and we're in business. Sink it to the facility's network. I keep having that dream. Still? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, bright. Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. It felt so real. I can barely remember. It's been so long. Lila, there's something you should see. They're gonna put you down. No. I won't let them. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. From there, we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. Will you come with me? I'm going wherever you're going, lady. We'll find home somewhere. Hide it, quick! Subject 89P14. Still no progress. Begin prepping lethal injection. Rocket? I can't. You got claws, don't you? Well, that idiot thinks we're nothing but a bunch of animals. So let's show him how right he can be. 
Rocket, I... Lila! Lila! Gotta move. Sure they got you? Maybe it's just a scratch or something. I was there, Rocket. I know what it is. There you are. Yeah. Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. I can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. No, no, you're not dying. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. Survive, Rocket. Rocket, please. I've got you. Isn't it? I knew it. Lila? No, no, Lila. What just... You had no right to see that. Those are my memories. Not yours. Look, hey, listen. I'm sorry. Little late for that. Well, I still mean it. It didn't even work! 
How could it not work? Come on. I really wanted it to work too, Rocket. You got to come back. She's the one who's still... Just take it. I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Thanks for, you know, going with me. Anytime, Rocket. What are friends for? No, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. Good. You're back. Looks like Nebula started tearing up the Novacore outpost. Hopefully we can still catch her. Everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Nova Corps outpost to intercept Nebula. should have come right away. She's already got Thanos' body. We can't lose her, too. Rocket was my priority. He needed me. I needed you, too, Peter. Star-Lord! We weren't expecting the Guardians to show up. Hey, what's going on? It's Thanos' right hand, Nebula. She appeared out of nowhere, killed several of our soldiers, and sent Thanos' body off in his ship. She's protecting its escape in a stolen Star Blaster. We can still take her down. Weapons loaded. Lethal force has been sanctioned. Get into position. No! I'll be damned if I let the Nova Corps blow my sister to Stardust. We need her alive. Otherwise, we've got no chance of translating the Eternity Forge. Ready? On my orders. Hey, uh... Whatever your name is. Rooks, sir. You can call me Rooks. If you want. It's... kind of a nickname. Rooks, listen. I don't want to have to hurt you, so you'd better do exactly as I say. What? Sir, you don't... Nebula gets captured alive. 
Understand? Well, I, I... I can't do that. I'm... I'm sorry, Star-Lord. Fire when ready. Okay. When words don't work, there's always firepower. Stopping you. Guardians, fall back. If you do not follow orders, we will be forced to return fire. No! Star-Lord, we have to follow protocol. Please listen to him. Nova officers, form a blockade. Peter Quill, by order of the Nova Corps, you will stand down and submit to capture. She's a wanted fugitive, the biggest threat to the galaxy now that Thanos is dead. She's guilty of multiple crimes. We have explicit orders to eliminate her immediately. We can't afford to be lenient here. It's too risky. Not if you leave her in our custody. Killing her isn't the only option. Look, Nebula is important to us. She's got something we need, and we need her alive to save the galaxy. But, sir... You want to see the galaxy destroyed? No, sir, I don't, which is why I have to do this. <sighs> I tried. Officer Rooks, signing off. I hope we can still be friends and... I think that went well. <laughs> We've got targets on this. On it. your face. Couldn't let the Nova Corps claim your glory. You had to kill me yourself. You brought this upon yourself. So you think. Whoa, I'm not a killer, Nebula. That's not why we're here. You murdered Thanos! That makes you a murderer. Look, we need your help. You have to come with us. I will never help you. Had to make this difficult. Disabling her engines. Oh, come on, field's too dense. I can't get a clear shot. We'll have to force her out. Watch yourself. She may be incapacitated, but she's still dangerous. Peter, her ship is drifting into the planet's gravity field. You need to hurry. Knock, knock. Go away. I refuse to accept your help or your pity. I'd rather die here. I failed, Father. Again. Leave me here. I'm not leaving you behind, Nebula. I don't care how much you hate me. You just want to play out your little Guardian's fantasy. Be the hero. Peter? Your sister's being difficult, Gamora. She's throwing herself a real pity party. There's gotta be an emergency release on here somewhere. Oh.
That's the last of it. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. We have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Good thing she's unarmed. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. Hey, no need for violence here. We can barter with her. Nebula wants her arm back, so let's use that to our advantage. I do not like this plan. You okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but... I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. So, here's the deal, Nebula. You've got a bit of a missing arm problem, and I've got a way to fix that. So, you interested in a trade? I'm listening. Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I was, uh, <laughs> dead. The Forge resurrected me. These symbols appeared some time after that. So it works. I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. I was serious about this. Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you, you have to rub it in my face too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really, imbecile. Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula. You pass judgment on me, on my father, but I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval, Tarval. I'll get what we need from you. You want me to talk? Get rid of her! Don't be ridiculous, Nebula! I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk. You know I can. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now! If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. So, what's the deal with Tarval? It's not my story to tell. If you're so eager to know, you should ask Gamora. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days... They've been the worst of my life. I lose my father. Then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. 
And you can make this all end right now, Nebula. And all you have to do is help me. If that's what it's gonna take. Oh, God. No, what are you, what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here, it'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. Almost. I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. She's trying to get a rise out of you, Gamora. You can't let her. You try having her as a sister. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. Oh, that is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right, so how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says, come find me in the temple. Helpful. God, didn't we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Nova Corps bodies that Thanos put there. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions I hope you're right then we can find out why you're having them in the first place exactly let's get moving we're going back to the temple where's rocket we're almost there I have not seen him emerge. Groot, go get Rocket. We need him up here. <coughs> How are you, Groot? I'm a Cohen, you useless piece of firewood! Uh... I am Groot. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. She's my sister, Drax. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes, I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You're the one who told me to reconnect with her. Now that she's here, I deserve that opportunity. And I'll make sure she stays out of trouble. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora. You should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. Maybe it'll give you a chance to talk. Thank you, Peter. You... You side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. I am Groot. Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us.
I, uh... <laughs> I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, Find me in the temple. So, here we are. In a temple. Again. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here. As is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. We've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? Hey, look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. These footprints are fresh. Oh, crap. What was she doing here? Star-Lord! It's Hala! Oh my god! Oh god! Why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope! Look! Where did they go? They went up. Looks like some kind of button. Okay, so much for that. them at the same time. No button on this one. One over here, too. Didn't work. Both must need to be pressed at the same time. trying to do looks like they needed the forge to do it score one for the good guys I am Groot hey Groot You think you can help me out with something? I am Groot. Great. You see that big guy over there? I need you to press that button on the top of his helmet when I say so, okay? Okay. One, two... No! No! You press your button, not mine! Oh, okay. Nice. And it's Christmas! Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. And those souls are being absorbed by it. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. Well, this is where Thanos found the Eternity Forge.
this actually mean anything to you? Hmm. No, but I like the skeletons. Hollow was here too. The image of the forge. Look at this. And here is where Hala failed. No Eternity Forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. What does it say? Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's Cypher was worth all the trouble. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. So, this is not the correct temple. We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called... Emnios. The symbols are a star map. <laughs> I know how to get there. Gamora. Peter. Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find him. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, about that. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's, uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. Hey, what's your problem? <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> hey, 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 what's, what's going on? Talk to me. <laughs> I didn't, uh, didn't want you to, uh, to see. She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't... I know, Rocket. I saw what happened. She didn't deserve to die like that. I thought if I could just get her out of there, if she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could, but I can't. I can't. That's why I'm gonna help you. And you're gonna get through this. I can't lose her again. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. You should hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. <laughs> What's going on? Get the Eternity Forge, keep it safe. Go help Rocket. What are you going to do? I don't remember it. 
inviting you to. Right, there's no air in space. Oops. Wait! Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk and now we're surrounded by pissed off Kree. I don't want to die here and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed! Okay, but one move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt, and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. You okay? Tracks! Not okay. Hurry! Gamora! I should have guessed Nebula wouldn't pass up the chance to fight. Well, someone on this ship has to keep you all alive. Here! This one's yours! <sighs> Times, isn't it? <sighs> Never gets any easier. Ah! We've got to move now. <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. And that is the engine room. Rocket! Nebula and I will keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back on. I am Groot. Right. Engine room. Rocket! Ah! <sighs> You think you could possibly win against the Kree? Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just... just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare I? <laughs> you come onto my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will! Oh, Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth ass! <laughs> Hey, guy! What's it like being on fire? Ah! That bad, huh? <laughs> Stupid.
You must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The Forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. Who says I'm running? Is there another word you would prefer? Hiding. Cowering. I'm not afraid of you. I do not need you to be afraid. <sighs> Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emineos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. She is. I hope I'll get to see her again. Talk to her. Just one more minute. You'd do almost anything to get that. I mean, if you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? Oh, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? This is it. just never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. 
I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot! You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? Well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. They toss a ball around, and some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> man... I was that turd. Ugh, Peter just... He's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge... Sorry. It drives me crazy. I don't think I was really prepared for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back. And that was that. For a while. Worried? Hell, I've never been happier in my life. Quill? All of them. They fell into a dark hole. Real dark. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found? Guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. So dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. I felt like Nebula was coming around. I don't know. Certainly, she was just as angry as she always was. For a little while, I thought it could be just like it was before. Before Tarval. Real, real, real dark. Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I... I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed. Oh, yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you? You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. Like a lot. Real, real, real dog. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though.